So here I would like to demonstrate uh, how a homopolar motor works. This is something that anyone can build at home. Um, all you need is a battery and a magnet and a current carrying wire. I have uh, several batteries here at the bottom, but that's because I'm really pretty lousy at, at building the wire the correct length, and so I gave it a little extra height to help me out, but um, that's not necessary for your design. Uh, so we're going to talk about the rotational force that makes this, that uh, is caused by the battery. Um, so the rotational force is caused, um, let me just get this started, sorry. Come on. There we go. Uh, the rotational force is caused by the current going through the wire. We can apply what we understand about the Lorentz force for a current carrying wire. That is that the force is caused by IL cross B, where L is the magnitude of the length of the wire, and um, B is the magnetic force, and um, I is the current. Um, so because the wire is current carrying through the magnetic field created by the battery, um, which is at the bottom, um, the wire itself experiences that Lorentz force. Uh, the force is based on the orientation of the magnet and the battery. So for instance, our battery here, as you can see, um, has a positive terminal here at the bottom and the negative terminal at the top. And so if we were to change that orientation, it would change the direction of this, uh, of this spinning. Um, so we know that it's going to move from the positive to the negative terminal and the magnet, magnetic field is going to go from the north to the south. So in this case, the wire is being forced away from us on the right-hand side, based on the right-hand rule, and then into us, kind of into the board, so to speak, on the left-hand side um, because of the right-hand rule. And that's what causes the rotational torque, is because when you have the current going through the magnetic field, it feels the force going in this direction. Oh, you can't see that, going in, <laughs> going in this direction, and then coming back in this direction, and so it creates the rotational force on either side. Um, so anyone can create a homopolar motor and um, understand the Lorentz force a little bit better and kind of see how it works for themselves.